Good morning guys. Welcome back to another Jungle's Travels. It's been a while, quite a while. You've not had much off me in the last six months. My channel's been a bit dormant. There's a reason for that, because I've been very busy with work. Anyway, we won't go into that right now. What we're doing right now, it's about, it's about five o'clock in the morning. So I need to dump my van outside work we're going on an adventure where are we going well we're going to the big city we're going to the big smoke we're going to london you ready for a trip to london i'm not anyway basically we're going to london because as some of you may know i'm a big country music fan and in london at current well not a current but tonight there's going to be a nice big new country music festival called the Highways Country Music Festival. Um, so basically, we're gonna go and check that out. So I'm taking my lad with me. So we're going to London. We're gonna get the bus, then the mega bus, and then probably a couple of tube trains and what have you. But basically, we're going to London and we're gonna check out the Highways Country Music Festival and see what else we can see in London. It's a little trip weekend, not out in the van unfortunately, because the prices in London are absolutely extortionate. On the van side, I have been a little bit busy with it, as you can see. So I've uh, moved the unit, which was across there, now it's here, going along the back. And then the bed comes sort of like down, and then this is a nice little seat that comes out. Excuse the untidiness, it is my work van as well. So it does get used for a lot of work but it's also my little camper van as you know and takes us out on travel places anyway right now i need to go and chuck this inside work because it's just safer than leaving it outside my house for the night uh so chuck it outside work and then go and meet me lado and then we'll get the bus to manchester and then we're going to jump on the mega bus why am i going by a mega bus because the mega bus is basically it's freaking cheap, it's peanuts. A train ticket for two of us return to London is like fucking under a pound plus. Whereas the mega bus is like 30 odd quid. So we're going on the mega bus. So it's like, I think it's about 38 quid return for the two of us. Which is basically a bargain, isn't it? Four hours, direct route, so. So let's dump the van and then let's get off adventurising. So, awesome. See you guys on the bus. I'm gonna drop this, we'll go and catch up with Kaylin, and I'll see you on the bus. Right, guys, that was the bus into Manchester. Slightly busier than I expected at uh, quarter past eight in the morning. Why it's so busy at quarter past eight? I have no idea. Anyway, so we're in Manchester, we're going to go and grab some breakfast now and then we're going to head to Shoe Hill to get a four hour mega bus to London. Yay! Four hours on a bus. It's going to be rammed as well, I can imagine it, and it's going to be hot. So anyway, go and get some breakfast and catch up with you guys in a second. Manchester. Who knew it was this vibrant at quarter past eight in the morning? This is my travel companion for the weekend, my son, Caelan, say hello. Hello. Ready for a concert in London? Yeah. First time to London? Yeah. Excited? A little bit. Yeah? Can't be asked for a four hour bus ride, but... Yeah, me neither. Yeah, first time in London for the lab, so should be good. Should be uh, pretty cool. Are you buying it? <laughs> Here we go guys, just been treated to a Dunkin Donuts by my boy. So we had this thing on the bus where there was a seat in front of it, the two bars between it. And he had his bag on it and I said, move your bag because the bus was getting busy. And he's like, nobody's going to sit there, it's a single seat between two bars. I said, if somebody sits there, you're buying breakfast. And literally two minutes after he'd moved his feet, somebody went and sat there. So he bought breakfast. So. Cheers, Kaelin. Right. 
Right, drop meal deal. Gone for a feta pasta salad, innocent strawberry through it, and a couple of old eggs. Fortunately, we've got no forks to eat the salad with, so Milado is going to run in co op and pinch two of their wooden forks from their meal deal sets. Improvise, isn't it? There we go. Got the uh, lunch for when we get into London. Because you know what London prices are like and how much it's good. Anyway, um, so now we're going to head to Shoe Hill and get the Megabus. So I think the Megabus, uh, just so you know, I think the Megabus was £35 for the pair of us return. Which is basically like probably fucking 20% of a train ticket, isn't it? So a bargain really, isn't it? Four hours, bit of a longer run, isn't it? But worth it. Oops. Thought I was losing something then. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to head to Shoot Hill now and pick up the Megabus. Four hours on a Megabus. Now, they do actually do two Megabuses. So, people say, like, oh, it's six hours on a Megabus, but it isn't. There's actually two options. There's one that goes direct, which is four hours and about ten minutes. And then there's one that diverts and goes via Birmingham, I think, which takes six hours. So obviously I've gone for the direct one. It's like uh, some chap's been sleeping outside court tonight. It's a lot of homeless about now, isn't it? It's quite sad, really. I think we're going to see a lot more of it in London. But unfortunately, that's the state of the world we live in, isn't it? Anyway, he should be robbing some forks, so we're back in a minute. Mission accomplished. He's played a blinder and picked up three wooden forks. One each and one spare, just in case one breaks. Awesome. He's a good lad. There's the bus just pulled in. London Victoria. A mega bus and it's a single deck coach. Thank God for that. Uh, five and six. How do you say numbers? Uh, sit wherever. <laughs> there he goes. The mega bus. We're off to London. Is it? I just have to turf somebody from my seat because I've reserved the seats for somebody who's sat in it. No mind. Paid for reservations? Not in the reservations. Anyway, we're off to London so I'll catch up with you guys in London. So we just pulled up at the services, we're having a bit of a 10 minute break and then stretch my legs, go to the toilet and then we'll head off to London again. So I think we're at, I don't actually know what services we're at, I'll have a look in a minute. Just been to the services, don't actually know which services we're at. I think it's Brimington, I'm not actually sure though. I did actually kind of clutch a glimpse of the sign on the way in, but I wasn't quite sure. Anyway, just having a wander around, got 10 minutes to kill, so why not? Looks like a nice little picnic spot over there. Got DVLA over here as well, probably checking people and issuing fines as DVLA do. Anyway, there's the mega bus. So it's about half ten, quarter to eleven, so we're about two hours in because the bus left at nine. So I've just been doing a bit of um, editing on the bus and a little bit of um, thumbnails. Sorted thumbnails, not for this channel, for the other channel. Anyway, chat and shit. I'll see you guys in London. Catch up with you next at Victoria train station and bus station. Victoria, basically. Anyway, see you in London.
guys, we're in London. So we're just coming out of Victoria train station and now we need to head over to find the hotel. I need to remember which hotel it is. We're going to the Hilton but I can't remember which one. So we'll have a look in a minute, get our bearings and then we'll see where we can find London. Yep, we're in London. So we're just making our way to the underground. We're going to catch the underground over to Kensington because we've just realised it's an hour's walk. Still got my Oyster card from three years ago. No idea how much is on it, so I need to get that topped up. And then we can jump on the underground, I'll have to pass it back to Kaylin, and then head over to Kensington so we can get to the hotel. Awesome. guys that was the subway that was so we just got off at Earl's Court now heading down to the Hilton Olympia then we'll get sorted get ready and then get ready for tonight's gig the Highways Country Music Festival really looking forward to seeing Morgan Wade and Kit Moore so hopefully get some good shots of them guys anyway we're gonna go and uh, make our way to the hotel so we'll catch up with you guys back at the hotel Now, I've heard the term snowflake a lot, but I didn't know we had a school for them. So we're now educating snowflakes. Welcome to the modern world, eh? It's got my name on the wall, like these cottages. Didn't realise I owned them. Anyway, we're just making our way towards the Hilton, found some little back streets because Junior's navigating us and he's taking us the wrong way. They blame it on me. They just blame it on me. He always does. Just like the other day when he broke his bike and said it was my fault. But we won't go there. Hiya. Which one's the Hilton? Olympia. Hilton. The Hilton Hotel? Yes. Yeah, you go over this bridge. It's just literally three minutes. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Kill. There it is. Alright, yeah. Find the Hilton. So let's go and see what £183 for a twin night gets you. Yeah, I was uh, a bit flabbergasted by the price as well, but it's London, isn't it? To give you context, this was actually the cheapest one I could find, and it's the Hilton. Um, some hotels around the area were 500 some hotels were 1300 for one night london not a cheap place to stay anyway so we've got what looks like basically from the outside it looks like a 1960s council block but it's got the hilton name on it so we pay more for it anyway let's go inside and see what 183 pound for a twin room gets you let's check it out Yeah, thank you very much. Doors closing. Sweaty back. Yeah, I said. There you go, so we checked in, we're on the fifth floor. Um trouble key cards, so get rid of these bags now and go and check out what the room's like. Doors opening. Right, I'll stay on the left. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, excuse me. Room number 554. Is it me or do those ceilings always seem low in these places? 
Well, it's the same height as the door room. That's amazing. Um, Why did it say go this way? That is this way, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we failed at the first table. We're already lost on the fifth floor. <laughs> we can't find the room. We'll find it. Well, I'm not here that one. Good. It's a split level. It's a, you get lost in here, don't you? God, he knows where we're going in that bleeding place. Don't think he has either. Tied a ball of string up the staircase so we can find my way back. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Hmm. I'll get the bed near the <laughs> table. Really? <laughs> God, I'm sitting down. That's my bed. I get one. Fuck off. <laughs> you know uh, who paid for its sunshine? Screw you. Yeah, bastard. You're fucking sleep anyway. <laughs> That's right, you can sit in the chair when I do. So. £180 gets you a 42 inch TV. Is it 40 inch? 40, 50? Might be 50 inch actually. Anyway, nice big TV. Nice clean twin beds. Let's check out the bathroom. Let's see what the bathroom's like. Has he got a bath or a shower? It's got. It's got a bath and a shower. Awesome. Got embossed towels. Get a hills and towel for the way home? Maybe not. What else have we got? Good little objet d'art. Jizz rag box. Oh, got a wardrobe with a safe. Lucky safe they ain't charged. I don't think a wardrobe with a safe that doesn't work. Because half of it looks like it's missing. No, it's not missing, it just isn't plugged in. It ain't charged it. Yeah. We've got an iron in there as well. So for £183, you get also you've got a kettle and tea's made under there and everything. So I can actually get myself a nice cup of tea or coffee. Nice bit of twinings. So basically for £180 you've got TV, nice bathroom, kettle. Not bad really, not bad. Expensive, but then for that price you kind of expect it. And we get a lovely view of the hand car wash. He's missed a bit. Right, I'm going to get sorted, get changed, and then we'll go for a wander properly. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm. Right guys, we're all set, ready for going to the concert. So we're going to get outside and go and have some fun. How do you open the door? I am, it's not opening. Get off the fucking door! <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Right, let's find our way out of this freaking hotel now, this little rat race again. And we'll go and uh, play some country music. Oh, it's right in the elevator. Right, so we're being bad. This is a staff elevator and he's just being a bad boy and making us go in it. No, because he doesn't want to get caught. <laughs> We're getting off at a different floor. Because you don't want to get caught. Keep your finger. I'll give you a tip for elevators. If you keep your finger on the button, it goes directly to the floor. If you keep your finger on the button that and bypasses all the other floors. Allegedly. Oh, hello. Hello. Yes. How are you? That is the wrong lift. Ah, right, okay. For the staff. You have oh, to sorry, go there. Right there, and up and on right. the right side. Oh, nice, sorry. perfect, thank you. You don't go anywhere with you, just the big one. Cheers. We don't know, we're just trying to be sly. This fault's hard, we got busted. It's fault. It's your fault for being amazing, aren't we? 
Mm. But yeah, that actually, as I was saying, I learned that at the airport. That if you keep your finger on the, when you get in the lift, keep your finger on the floor you want, and I think the door close button, and it bypasses all the other floors. Apparently it's a safety hack for the fire brigade. So anyway, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But it used to work at the airport. Jesus. Right, so it's my first time in London hiring a bike. It's taught me into it. We tried getting electric bikes, but it weren't having it. So we're just on manual ones. So we're going to ride over to. Where are we going to? Hyde Park, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to ride over to Hyde Park on the old uh, Santander e bike. Uh, Santander fucking bikes. £3.30 for two of them. So £1.65 for a half an hour. If I do another half hour, it's another 165, so I better get cycling. Right, so there is actually cycle lanes that we need to go on, but we're not actually using them. We need to cross over to um, So we need to cross over to get to the right side of the road for the cycles. Hey? Your gears as well, to go faster. Yeah. Why would you start off in third? That's what it was on. Put it in first to start off with. Yeah. As you gain speed, turn it up. Ah, right, okay. Oh. See, you learn something new every day. We've got three gears to play with, eh? Wow. Cycling through London, eh? I feel like Boris. Oh, it's <laughs> 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 a nifty bit of cycling. Shit. I keep dropping back into first gear. There we go. It's third now. Now we're cooking. Oh, fucking hell. This is cool. I like this. Cruising through the park from there. So there's the Albert Hall. Yeah, there's not two guys over them. That's the Albert Hall there. That's where we're going tonight for the Country Music Festival. So we kind of got 15 minutes to kill, so we're just going to uh, have a mooch around the park on these bikes. See what we can see. A lot of cool people doing skateboarding and stuff. I like this, nice. People just Spending a lazy afternoon chilling in the park. Can't bad, can it? Do you know what? I deserve this. I've spent the last 18 months working solid. So this is my first proper day off. Hence the reason why. I should explain the reason why I've been a bit slack on the channel. I've not really done much is because I've been busy with the other channel, Rough Town Raptors. I just basically do raptor paint jobs. So unfortunately it's left me very little time to get out travelling. Hence the reason why I decided to do this one with you today. I wasn't going to do it first, and I thought, do you know what? Why not? Yeah, we're just going for a mooch around. And uh, paid for half an hour, so I might as well use the last 10 minutes on the bikes. Just across the day, you can see the London Eye. Wow. These little guys are so tame. Back home, that'd be running away. not even phased at all by people. It tells you how much interaction they have. And there's his little brother. Awesome. He's probably going to go and rob his nuts now, isn't he? Anyway. See? 
even the uh, little squirrels aren't phased. Just mooching about the business. That man was happy feeding them his nuts, wasn't he? This is awesome. Bet you wish you fetch your longboard now, don't you? Yeah. Bikes is longboard. Right. <laughs> it's been a while since I rode non handed. So it's been a while since I rode non handed. Where are you going now? Where are you going? I'm just going to pull out with the traffic and go around. I meant go with the flow of the traffic. I was. Not just fucking shoot across because I've got a gap. If there's a gap, you take the gap. You don't take the gap if there's a gap. That's how you end up on the fucking back of an ambulance. If there's a gap, you take the gap. And that's how you end up in an ambulance. Put it in the corner. Yeah, you go then, put it in the comments. Do you take the gap or not take the gap? Take the gap, take the gap. You don't take the gap, that's how you end up in an ambulance. You're not buying to take the gap. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> um, you ready? You don't take the gap. He's talking out of his ass. Yeah, that's the gap. That's the gap. That's Can I get you old speckled end, please? Yeah, sure. Not just old two, please. It's a uh, card on the other Is it card on? Yeah, sorry about that. That's alright. Um, yeah, there's an apple side there. Cash is becoming obsolete. <laughs> 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 oh, quite full, sorry about that. It is, isn't it? It's alright. Cheers, buddy, thank you. Cheers. Have a great evening. You too, try, try to, <laughs> as best you can. <laughs> <laughs>
boys bought me a Stetson hat. Nice. He yeah, actually went and asked for two steps because he had no idea what he was talking about. Yes, so two game boy hats. I like good music. And I know that you guys like good music as well. Over 160 million impacts in the UK alone for Wilder Days. Uh, her album Reckless was named Rolling Stone Country's number one album of the year. And she is here tonight. Everyone, please put your hands together. Morgan Wade!
Anyway guys, that was it. Highways Country Music Festival. Good turnout, good laugh. A sea of double denim and check shirts and cowboy hats. So now we're gonna go and grab some food because we're fucking starving. Right, let's go get some food. Right, so we've just spent 20 minutes walking around trying to find somewhere to eat. Found a nice little pizzeria place. Just down a little side street. He's not happy. He don't like walking around doing nothing. He's not like me. Anyway, so we've got some overpriced pizzas, so we're going to grab them and then head back to the hotel. Awesome. Well, we're back on the bikes again. Beating half a pizza, just had a lovely chat with a couple. An Irish guy in Essex bird. And now we're going to ride back to the uh, pizza. Because his nibs over there is uh, too tight to walk. It's been a good time. He hasn't lost his hat, it's in his basket because it kept blowing off. Whereas my head is a bit bigger and it's stuck to my head. Anyway, see you guys back at the hotel for all sun. Right guys, <clears throat> we're leaving. Hotel going. So um, I'm going to got about two or three hours now before we catch the coach back to Manchester. What? <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. One o'clock, this cap. Yeah, it's yeah. now ten to eleven. Alright, oh, yeah, so we've got one, uh, two hours to get the coach back to Manchester, so let's get going. And those key cards. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually lost my key card. I think I lost it last night when I was riding back on the bike. Trying to pull shit out of my pocket while I was riding the boat. But well, he's got his, so as long as they don't charge me for it, you never know, do you? What do you think to the hotel room? It wasn't too bad. A little bit grubby in corners. Not what you expect for the Hilton, but anyway. Not too bad. And the pillows were comfy as... Yeah, anyway. Right, let's go check out. Doors closing. Ground floor. Doors opening. Checking out. Uh, five, five, four. Have you got the I've lost mine. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Hi, Mum, you okay? Nice, same room. Oh, yeah, it's the same room. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Thanks, have a nice day. Yeah, goodbye, Hilton Hotel. Not a problem losing the key. Right. Where are we going now? No idea. Alright, let's find, we'll find somewhere to go and then we'll catch up with you. In the meantime, check out the Indians. Now that is a very beautiful car. Absolutely classic, love it. I don't like that. Thank you. 
busy on the Victoria line today so we're back to Victoria we're gonna go and grab some be breakfast somewhere hey. right I've just abandoned my lado in there because there's a uh, tech all really in the way of veg food um, so I'm just gonna head over to the Victoria station see if I can find something over there that's kind of on my path my wavelength my Something over there to quench my appetite. Anyway, so I'll catch up with him in about half an hour. Like I said, we've got about an hour and a half before the bus, so plenty of time. Thank you very much. Okay, Cheers, buddy. You too. Thank you. Oop. Right, I'm going to meet back up with uh, Nalado. £10.45 for a little um, prawn wasabi thing but actually it didn't seem to have bad prices in there compared to some of the prices I've seen somewhere else so we'll meet up with them in the market hall and we'll have some lunch So Ron, what did you go for? Uh, six piece buffalo wings, skin on fries uh, £12 on a Dr Pepper as well Alright, £12 with a Dr Pepper and mine was um, the what did I end up with? The Chirashi bowl, which actually it's really tasty. And that was 10.45, no drink, but I've already got a drink, so I don't need one. Yeah, I mean, not too bad, but he wasn't expecting a big portion for 12 quid. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, it is what it is, isn't it? Walking to London, I'll eat this, and then we'll catch up with no, That was dinner taken care of, well, lunch. Uh, we're going to head down to the palace, we've got basically got it 45 minutes. So we're going to have a quick walk down to the palace, and that way. Quick walk to the palace, and then we'll uh, head back to the coach. So let's go and check out Buckingham Palace. Check out Charlie's new pad. Although technically it's still his old pad, because he grew up there. Anyway. Guys, Buckingham Palace. Beautiful, isn't it? If I remember rightly, it used to be a stately home for somebody and then they sold it to King, whichever it was, and then became a palace. But it was originally somebody else's house, not the Queen's. It wasn't built for the Queen or the royalty or whatever. It was built as a residence for somebody else. But very, very decadent. Fun fact for you, Rishi Sunak, current Prime Minister, is actually worth more than King Charles. 
He must come around here and think, what a shit hell, you've only got 12 bathrooms. So we've made a bit of a chop up. I was that busy looking in the Harry Potter shop that we kind of got a bit late for the bus and we've missed it. So we're having to get the three o'clock one now instead of the one o'clock, which is costing us £10 each actually. My fault, I'll pay the tickets. Anyway, on the plus side, two hours just chilling London now in fact. Yeah. It's your fault, Harry. It's your fault. So we're just going to this little park, just chill out for a little bit. Uh, somewhere quiet to sit and reflect on Caleb making us miss the bus. Alright guys, we've been chilling in the park, so now we're just going to head back to coach station. Hopefully not miss this one. Probably. Don't think we'll miss it this time. But yeah, nice little park near Victoria station. Right, let's go catch coach. Okay. So basically I just went to Greg's and it's cost me six quid for two coffees, two yum yums and two steak bakes. Well a steak bacon and a cheese bake. It is cheap. Especially considering he paid 15 quid for two bottles of water and a bottle of juice. Which can't be right. No. Because the bottles of water in Greg's are only 155. Yeah. I reckon he overcharged me. Yeah. So he's been undercharged, overcharged, I've been undercharged. But anyway, we're not gonna miss this bus. But it's there and we're here. So basically because we're like taking on what is it we're paying extra basically so basically because we're paying to go on the bus we have to wait till the end to make sure the seats for everyone else that's hiding but it doesn't look a very big queue so we should be all right it did say it was a bit quiet but we lady didn't you but it was quiet so. yeah we should be good no nope, we'll get to sit together because get up the person who sits next to him because he farts all the time he on the bus so we chill, eat my steak bake, uh, my cheese bake and my yummy and we'll see you guys back in Manchester. Your seat's back in the upright position and make sure you take all your belongings with you. Thank you. Cheers guys. See you, See you later. Right, we're back in sunny Manchester. So that was our trip to London. Um, yeah, Highways Country Music Festival. Really enjoyed it. So, time to head home and say thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, our little trip to London. And stay safe out there. We'll see you in the next one. Well, I'll see you in the next one anyway. Oh, okay. yeah. You enjoyed it? Yeah, it was great, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Right. Ladies, guys. Adioski.